how y'all doing mm -hmm. are you guys good are you guys great <laughs> let me just take off my name tag because i'm not at work um i did go and i actually took someone one of my long-term buyers that i've been working with now for the past three months and i took him to go and view a commercial property that i listed for 32 million rand which i'm really excited about because he's you know he really wants to make an offer on this property and my commission oh it's, it's gonna be big so yeah we didn't come here to talk about real estate we came here to talk about books specifically the books that i read in january i just wanted to give you guys a little book review and I'm aware that I haven't done these types of videos before on my channel. My first Pizza Town video of 2023 was kind of long and tedious and boring. So I just wanted to spice it up a little because I have been doing lots of vlogs um, all through like last year, December. I've been doing Vlogmas and then also into 2023, I did a vlog or two. So I just wanted to put this video up here to like you know just to spice up my channel a little bit and help you guys because if you're like me okay finding some good book recs are so hard um yeah i need to film fam can you just put your music thank you nigga guys <laughs> earlier this week i tried to film this video as a matter of fact i did i filmed like half an hour of footage um of me you know talking about the books that i've read this month and whatever but the month isn't over yet it's actually the 28th of january right now we've got two days left of the first month in 2023 and i read an impressive amount of books at least it's impressive for me this is a whole new record for me of finishing any real book because we all know white pad and white pad has like you know these little short books that are good but not good enough to be considered you know real books really even considered it you know real reading <laughs> i'm you know i don't know if that's like offensive to any of the wattpad authors i'm not trying to be offensive in any way but did read some more books um after i tried to film this video and so now i'm just coming to you guys with the updated list i'm gonna use the intro that i did on my first attempt while filming this so you guys had the intro ready yes it's me abby and i'm back in your face <laughs> so the first things first let me give you a rundown of all the books that are currently in my library let's get into it all the books that are in my library right now some of them i have read some of them i haven't but i'm just gonna give you a like yeah a tour of my library haunting adeline by hd colton Kiss the Sky, Krista and Becky Ritchie. Does It Hurt, H.D. Carlton. American Roommate Experience, Elena Armas. Mine, A.K. Rose. Satan's Affair, H.D. Carlton. That's the third book by H.D. Carlton. Yes, I'm a fan. Shallow River, H.D. Carlton. Thorn Princess, L.J. Shin. Savage Sinner, Christy, Kristen Luciani. Cruel Games by Zoe Blake. Dragon's Bride by Katie Roberts. Hers by A.K. Rose, Ward by Zoe Blake, uh, this, the entire Stay With Me series by Nicole Fioria. Mm, Fion, I don't know how to say her name, and I think kind of gets unintelligible here, so I can't. It's Nicole Fion, Fiorina, I think that Fioriana. I'll put the spelling on the screen. Uh, Butterflies and Vicious Lies by Kay Lee King. The Kraken Sacrifice by Katie Roberts. The Gargoyle Lord's Wife. Lumi by Crystal North. Three Swedish Mountain Men by Lily Gold. <laughs> now this book actually, like, I was so put off by the title because, you know, it, in my head, it was just going to be like lots of like light, bright and white people. <laughs> Let's continue. Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer Armenton. I think that's how I was the Armentrant. Armentrout by Jennifer Armentrout. Light Lock by Alex Astor. Okay, so that's all the books that I currently have in my library. Uh, there are a few books that I've got, you know, like real hardcover books, uh, hard copy, hardcover, like hard copies of those books. 
and yeah the rest is all just electronically uh, so let's go ahead and start with the very first book that i read in 2023 i remember exactly when i started reading when i read my first book of 2023 it was the 31st of december 2022 i had just come back from visiting my friend elsie at her place and things were a bit tense here at home and i decided to go in my room and just pick up the book that I've been putting off reading. It was Shatter Me by Tare Mafi. And I started reading. And I, I swear to you guys. I could not, could not put this book down. You had to physically separate me and this book. Because bruh. Like this is, this is not the book. But like I had this book. Okay I picked it up. And my eyes were just glued. I kept on paging and paging. It's a real page turner. It's, it's a well written. The plot is so good. Um the love interest the characters are really they 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 are you know cliches and oddly enough i found that very like i actually liked it i like that they were cliches i think like okay i think it was a, a very good book to go to as my first book you know after like months of not reading the rollercoaster of emotions there was like love there was happiness there was betrayal sadness there was just you know second and embarrassment from the cringy things they did um if you're 13 and up and yeah it's 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 got some depth to it so i think you guys would really enjoy it i know that there's a very good rating overall by anyone by everyone that read it they've either really really loved it or you know really really didn't like it no in between for that type of for that for this type of book i started reading unravel me and i wasn't really happy with how it was going so i think i made it to chapter seven if not five and i stopped reading i lost i lost interest because she was just throwing a lot of temper tantrums and it didn't really fit in with the image that Shatter Me created, you know, of her. So I kind of lost interest and that book is sitting there, half read, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to go back to it anytime soon. Obviously, like, everyone's different and some people might like that her character changed. I did not. I think she was perfect the way she was. So the next book that I read, I really loved. Guys, I'm not over this book. I read it so long ago. Oh, guys, if you can hear the wind, I'm so sorry, I'm outside it's a bit hot here it's like 34 degrees celsius which is like it's probably 100 degrees fahrenheit i can't do math so just ignore that but i'm not sitting inside it's too hot inside and the you guys are just gonna have to deal with the wind but i'm gonna try my best to denoise uh, my microphone so that you guys don't hear any of the wind or any of the things moving in the background so the next book that i read after the shatami series was hd carlton's haunting adeline now you know you already know this is a spicy book okay this book is the spiciest i've ever read i don't think there's any book that made me feel things that haunting adeline by hd carlton made me jesu this book has all kinds of demons and angels in it if you haven't read haunting adeline by hd carlton yet you need to get it you need to read it i swear it's gonna save your life it's gonna save your life you're gonna become you're gonna be baptized in zaid meadows I mean, this is something you need this is not something that you that you must think about you need to get this book if there's anything you do from this video get this book so the third book that i read was kiss the sky so kiss the sky i don't know who's the author i think it's chris and becker Christy and Becca, whatever. So, Kiss the Sky, but I didn't like it. I didn't like that book because I felt like, you know, I was reading as like a fun pastime and I wasn't really reading to like, you know, like when I read, it's my relaxed time. It's time to have fun. It's time to get lost in another world. And Kiss the Sky and Thorn Princess. So, Kiss the Sky and Thorn Princess, for me, they are kind of like the same writing style they're more like reality based book was just all about that and re really just taking the side of you know reality show contestants not contestants what do you call reality show participants <laughs> and 
I didn't like that it was it just hit way too close to like reality for me like I like to get lost in a book and get lost in a book's reality instead of being constantly reminded that I have my own reality and I think that this is what this book did so I think if I do give you guys a review it's gonna be very very biased because if I say something about the characters now it's gonna be negative because I I just told you I don't like the book and you know you guys can go read it um, I'll leave some links down below for you guys of the books um, that I can links to some free books or just to like the Amazon where I purchased it after kiss the sky I needed to get back into some fantasy world and I went straight for HD Carlton baby because haunting Adeline was just too good it was just too good I had to go back to haunting to HD Carlton's book so I went and picked up does it hurt by hd colton now this book i don't like that the character the main character so yeah i don't like that she was painted in a bad way like why i really didn't like that she was the villain and the victim i didn't like that because like do you know choose one choose one a savage sinner as well anya was the victim but she was also the villain Stop it. Do that to the men. Don't do that to us women. But I did like this book. I like Does It Hurt because it was the perfect amount of like non-realistic to realistic. It worked. It it worked. The plot worked. The, the whole, you know, getting washed up on an abandoned island but not so abandoned with a real villain who actually killed people and who was out to kill them it even had like a little bit of mystery and like who done it because we had to figure out like how he killed what and how i don't want to say too much because i don't want to spoil it for you i didn't like that um he spoke so much italian like i like that he spoke italian but i didn't like that there wasn't like that i could, that i had to go google everything i didn't like that i had to get get in and out of the book because i'm opening google and then going back to the book and then opening google and then going, because every second word he said was like in italian and i was just like bruh another 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 italy because guys is it just me or are we all thinking that italian men are overhyped guys i think we're all over italian men at this point what pad ruined it for us they ruined it what pad also says they ruined italian men for us they ruined mafia men for us ruined it's done okay that was that expired in, in august of 2012 so after does it hurt i went ahead and i read satan's of hair mm. satan's of hair okay so this book this book is all kinds of psychotic oh, no I, don't, I wouldn't recommend this book just because I feel like there are kids watching me, it's not for kids. It's not even for me. I felt like such a child reading this. I was like, what am I reading? This is not for my eyes because yo, yo. It, it really unlocked some psychological trauma for me because why was she, why was she doing that? Why was she doing that? That's all I'm gonna say. The smut in this book was top tier. Okay, it was top tier. Even like in all of the books, except for the Shatomi series, in all of the books that I just said, the smut was, the smut was, it was nice, okay? So that's why I'm giving it to you because, you know, you guys also need to like, <laughs> like don't, just don't read this. Don't, unless you wanna be traumatized because there are some interdimensional beings mentioned and they are you know having coitus with the main character the characters in Titans of Fear are the same characters that are in Haunting Adeline uh, except this is like I think Titans of Fear was anyway like a spin-off of Haunting Adeline you know because she wanted to add more depth to the main character of Titans of Fear which was just like a little side character in Haunting Adeline. If you read a Haunting Adeline, immediately read Satan Sophia afterwards and then you know you can deal with your trauma later. I'm not paying for any therapy. By the way, I'm not paying for any of your therapy. If you choose to read these books that I'm giving to you, that's on you. Okay. After that I read Shallow River by HD Carlton. Mm. Okay, this book was fine. This book was fine. I didn't like that the love interest was so hesitant in his 
in making his moves like wait, you have big muscles you have big muscles go and fetch her go and fetch her so guys not to like victim shame anyone who has been a victim of domestic violence but oh my god <laughs> oh my but oh my god i didn't like i don't even know what her name is i didn't like the main character the girl the female protagonist i didn't like her her actions like the way she kept going back to her abuser like i get that this is some people's lives like in reality this is some people's lives so they deal with domestic violence and even though they know their partner is abusing them they still run back to them but I think that as a person who has also been a victim of domestic violence and I didn't have that mentality of oh I'm not worth anything else or whatever reasons people go back I didn't go back to my abuser so to see her doing what so many other women did what I believe you know no one should ever do it was kind of cringy it was kind of cringy for me because she kept on running back to him and i was like cringing and like i promise you i was yelling at the book i was yelling at my phone like, okay whatever i'll write that book uh seven out of ten because the ending was happy and i liked the the males i liked his character the smart was okay the smart was mm, i thought the smart like a five or six out of ten. Did one thing I'd like is the sky does it hurt certain so fish shallow river is gonna be What? Oh shallow river, okay. So I read Thorn Princess after Shallow River I read Thorn Princess. This book just like is the sky was just too reality based for me. I felt like, I feel like it was just dragging me instead of like putting me into a fake world, it was dragging me back into my world. And that, uh, that explains why I took so long to read Kiss the Sky and Thorn Pr I, I took so long to read these books because I wasn't enjoying it. It wasn't enjoyable for me. I didn't like it and it's not memorable. I can't even remember what happened here except the love interest telling the main protagonist girl to go and work and get a job and all this crap. That was what I remember from it. It was just, that's what I took away from it. It was dry. It was actually really dry. So, mm. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this book, but I'll still link it down below if I can. So you guys can go check it out yourselves. And then I went to AK Rose and I read mine. Now this book, this book in HD called This Book and Haunting Adeline. You need to get it. Mm -mm. There's no arguments. You need to get it. Haunting Adeline and mine by AK Rose will be linked down below. You need to go and get this book. If you're not getting this book, then you obviously, you're not serious about reading for pleasure this book is spicy it was like extra chilies guys it's so 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 hot yeah no i'm sorry everything about this book and everything about haunting adeline is like a 10 out of 10 there's no faults i cannot fault anything except for the end i didn't like the end the end was was not nice because it was a cliffhanger but luckily for me um the next book in the series was already out the next book in the series is called hers by echo rose and it's pretty decent um the smart was not okay there was very little i felt like i was cheated because the first book was so good that you just ran to go and buy the second book and then the second book was like so after hers i went ahead and read savage sinner and savage sinner is just like h it's just like does it hurt um in the sense that the the female protagonist like she was a victim and she was a villain it was just very um, it was again it was giving very much wattpad vibes because there were there was mention of the italian mafia and also the love interest was part of the italian mafia like no it expired in august <laughs> of 2012 guys it just it gives me the ick you know so w once Dante was mentioned and Gio and Luciani or whatever their surname was some famous Italian surname I was already so put off because I was like ugh you know it's just gonna be one of those and then it was it was one of those the next two books that I read are books by Zoe Blake and I think three the next three books that I read was it two 
it was two so the next two books that i read are books by zoe blake and the first one that i read was ward so ward by zoe blake is it's a great piece of writing i'm not gonna lie it's really nice um i don't think i think that's the darkest book that i've ever read it was really dark um yeah that was mighty mighty dark i don't think i've read anything that dark before because it was kidnapping it was psychological like trauma it was psychological damage i don't even know what to call that because they were changing her mind they were intentionally messing with her head and changing altering her perception of reality that was scary i was actually horrified by that part of the book but the love story was it was actually mid there was no love there was no love the love story was actually it was not it was mid mm, the male like the love interest though mm, mm -hmm. he can get it prep it was perfect but I don't know like there's, there's 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 very little that i can like say against the book except that it messed with my head that they messed with her head yeah other than that the book was okay the second book that i read was the second book in the series of this first book so ward is the first book in the dark obsession series and then i read cruel games which is the second book in the dark obsession series I liked this more than I liked Ward. I didn't like that she was underage. And for me, anything under 21 is underage. So I didn't like that she was underage. Ooh. Um, hashtag groomer, you know what I mean? And I was just, mm, I was very off put by her age. By her age alone. Because like, uh-uh. No. can complain. The book was really nice. The smart was nice. Yo, the smart was nice, bruh. It was just, it was really great. You know, we like a good domineering person so hey <coughs> caramba like what's going on okay i think it's the wind and i think i'm losing my voice because I, I need some water oh, the last two books that i read wait let me get comfortable the last two books that i read okay is the books by kt roberts the dragon's bride and the kraken's sacrifice <sighs> these books were so good mm -mm. it is like literally i am not into fantasy i as a matter of fact i hate anything with vampires werewolves okay fine werewolves can get a champ but vampires fairies dragons like else what are we six no i don't like fantasy i'm not a fantasy fan but this these two books this also katie robert she changed my life i am now a fantasy fan and if you're not into fantasy then read these books because it will it will literally change your mind about the entire genre there was you just open the book and there's spice period that's how i like my books to start i like it to start extra spicy you don't start here with the slow burn what is slow burn because that's not for me i'm not a slow burn girl i want i want it now like like right there in your face just yes thank you put just just there wham bam thank you ma'am and the fact that she was opposed to it at first she was like oh you're not gonna do nothing and <laughs> lord have mercy on your soul because yeah i know mm -mm. that book was nice that's anyway my favorite book in the series um so far i'm still i still have to read the gargoyles something this like slight monster corn um i say slight but it like the entire series is just <laughs> the entire series is just you know and um yeah no uh, it's it's really great it's really great i think they might have pulled me over to the dark side with this one like shout out to kt for you know giving us this amazing piece of work and she was in her 30s which i loved i was like wow finally a book with an adult woman yay 
Yay! Hallelujah! Who knew? Who knew that people would be so obsessed with writing about young girls? Guys, that's actually so creepy. That's actually so... And as a woman, because most of these authors that I'm reading, they're all old. They're all old. I think Luciani is also well into her 40s. But she's here writing about 18-year-olds. I said, mm. <laughs> What are you, a man? Like, no. That's... It's not okay. Guys, can we please just get more books with, like, appropriately aged women? Because I don't think that this is fair for uh, that it's fair for us to be like oh you know men are rapists and they only want young girls and they rape young girls and then we write about them doing all these things to young girls and i'm just like mm, it's not okay it's not okay guys that she doesn't have to be in her 30s but i think like 25 is a reasonable age you know don't you because listen i'm i'm aware that a lot of young people are getting into writing now and by young people i mean people that are still in high school so like 16 and upwards but hey it's not all about you okay i'm 21 and i've only read like what two books where there was a girl my age or like one or two years older and i was like what's going on why are all the women that i think about young girls getting like railed by old ass grandpas i was so shocked i was so shocked um but yeah if you guys know any authors that write about decently aged women please leave them down in the comments because you know i'm getting kind of tired of reading about 18 year olds and 16 year olds and 19 year olds because like it's so weird reading about someone that's younger than you yeah you are at your old age you know and you feel like like, like kind of cringy like kind of like a pedophile for reading this so i didn't want to i don't i don't want to just yeah, leave it in the comments but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a like if you did and um yeah subscribe to my channel guys for more videos like this i did say i'll be updating you guys on whether i read the unravel me series like whether i read unravel me and the rest of the books on my library i'll probably read them like I'll, i think i'll be able to finish all the books that are left in my library by like the 5th of february keep in mind guys it's like the 28th of january right now if i read one book a day i'll be done by the end of february but that being said i always always am on instagram looking for new book recs so i can read one book today and then go on instagram and find five new books to add to my library so my library will always kind of be full um but i'll be updating you guys often on what i read and what i'm reading next and what's in my library if you guys like this video um but yeah, i don't think i'll be doing a sit down video like this for a long time i think it'll be i'll be updating you guys like maybe in a vlog or something but yeah i really need to get this video out because i promised you guys consistency in 2023 and it's already been like what two weeks since i last uploaded so we need to get this video up and running so that i can continue with my vlog my vloggy vlogs um guys i'm gonna be traveling soon so i hope you guys are ready for that i did say i wanted to incorporate more traveling and even like incorporate more of my friends into my videos because last year all of my videos are just abby 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 you know there was never like a abby and friends or abby and family it was just abby 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 no no guys we need to incorporate more of other things and other people into my videos so that's what i'm going to try to do this year pray for me because i'm always alone so i don't know how i'm going to make that happen but yeah guys enjoy i hope you guys enjoyed and i love you i love you i love you do you know that you are loved by me i'm your mommy i'm your book mommy okay you can call me book mommy you can spam book mommy in the comments Thank you.